Good morning. It's time for another episode of Discipleship Today. I've been off for a couple of weeks, uh, uh, been sick. So uh, we, as we jump back into 2 Timothy, uh, remember that we've been using this text as a discipleship text to help develop us into who God wants us to be. I think there's a lot of distractions in our world today, and I'm not going to be distracted anymore. I'm going to be concentrating on the gospel of Jesus Christ. So as we jump into this, this letter from Paul to Timothy, letting him know the things that he should be doing, that he should be uh, engaged in to uh, be developing disciples. And that's what it's all about. It's about disciples being discipled and discipling others. How far ahead of somebody do you have to be? You only have to be just a few steps ahead of them to lead them. So we remember that as we jump in here, 2 Timothy 2 verses 14 through 19. I'm going to be reading from the ESV, the English Standard Version. Remind them of these things and charge them before God not to quarrel about words, which does no good, but ruins the hearers. Do your best to present yourself to God as one approved, a worker who has no need to be ashamed, rightly handling the word of truth. But avoid irreverent babble, for it will lead people into more and more ungodliness. And their talk will spread like gangrene. Among them are Hermeneus and Philetus, who have swerved from the truth, saying that the resurrection has already happened. They are upsetting the faith of some. But God's firm foundation stands, bearing this seal. The Lord knows who are his. And let everyone who names the name of the Lord depart from iniquity. Here we get this reminder from Paul to Timothy to concentrate on the things that he, he's called him to do, those essential things. And we are so distracted in the churches today by so many other things. Uh, you know, we, we have disciples of CNN and disciples of Fox News, and that's not what we're looking for. We are looking for disciples of Jesus Christ, rightly dividing the word of truth and applying it to our lives. And I would tell you that that's discipleship. As we, as we develop, as God develops who we are, and as we develop our own character, we have to be concentrated on the right things. God's firm foundation in verse 19. The Lord knows who are his. We've got to be in that place. Let everyone who names the Lord depart from iniquity. We, we do have this part to play. We have to be salt and light in the, the world that we live in today. And that's my encouragement for you. Is be salt and light in the world that you live in today. We need to be not quarrelsome, not fighting about words, not fighting about um, which, which news outlet you watch. But we need to be about the gospel of Jesus Christ, the good news, the euangelion, that, that amazing fact that God sent his only son to pay my penalty for sin. Uh, and that's, that's how I'm going to disciple people to the words and works of Jesus Christ. So for discipleship today, let me remind you, let's not quarrel about anything. We can have discussions but we are all on the same team, headed towards Jesus Christ. So for discipleship today, thank you for taking your time to watch.